I worked with public health locally, and I was asked to join the advisory board uh, for Harbor House. And in the years before, I had developed a screening tool that, that was developed and used at Harbor House as well. My wife and I were at home one night. We got a, do a doorbell ringing at midnight, and it was the neighbor who had been beaten up. And that was our introduction to partner violence, right? So the perpetrator's next door, she's coming to our house for safety. And we literally didn't know what to do. We didn't know where the local shelter was. We knew we had to get her someplace. And we felt kind of helpless. Later on, I was involved with family practice. I'm a family practice physician. And I looked at the field and I said, my gosh, nobody's even screening for this stuff. My wife and I both sat down and thought of this HITS tool. It's a good screen to differentiate you know, those who are being abused versus those who are not. You boil it down to four simple questions. In the last year, has your partner hurt you physically, insulted you or talked down to you, threatened you with physical harm? It measures both physical, uh, verbal aggression, emotional abuse, and as well now sexual abuse. As of 2013 and again in 2018, the people who recommend guidelines for the United States on screening this is one of the recommended screens for partner violence. I am an advocate for engagement by everyone, but in particular, I'm an advocate for the healthcare community because that's what I'm representing to this. I, I wanted to change the system and how it, it dealt with this.